I'm Jamie Lum, and I've been here at Daisy Chain for about five weeks now. I'm Richard Stevenson, and I've uh, volunteered at Daisy Chain now for 17 years. I started uh, working in the gardens and the grounds um, the first summer that it was open, really, and um, I've been here since. Um, I've always been interested in working at a place like Daisy Chain, working with people with uh, difficulties, long-term disabilities. I just take an early retirement and I heard about the Daisy Chain and that um, it, I live in Norton so it was just uh, around the corner for me so it was it was uh, handy to uh, come here and volunteer and it was it was an exciting time as the, as the um, Daisy Chain was just starting up so I've been here ever since. So I volunteer in the Adult Gardening Club and some of the things we do, so some weeding, there's a lot of moving. Uh, flower beds around, keeping the potted flowers watered and growing quite a lot of veg. My volunteering role has changed slightly um, over the years. Initially, um, I came as a, a just a, a, to volunteer in the gardens to really to keep the gardens neat and tidy and the grounds tidy. But uh, it um, evolved uh, into uh, working with the children. The first respite care was a gardening club where the care team used to bring uh, the children into the garden and there was a couple of gardening volunteers who would uh, give the children gardening activities and the job evolved and it became that much more interesting once I was then sort of um, helping the children in the garden. The reason we, we do this in the garden club uh, a lot of the veg can be sold for helping fund this place and a lot of the service users enjoy being outside, doing something practical, being out in the elements. I've always seen this and I think Daisy Chain saw the, 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 the farm and this site as a haven for uh, children and families uh, affected by autism. So to keep the, the grounds and the gardens in looking nice, I, I, that, that initially was, was, there was a lot of satisfaction in just doing that, in, in providing the safe haven, and that was, was a very pleasant area to be in. Um, as I say, then it, the, the, the job, um, the role it, uh, evolved into um, actually working alongside the children, and that, that was um, very much, much more satisfying as well, is, is being involved with the children and directly um, uh, helping children and families. Uh, well, there's a lot to do in the in the garden, so the volunteers, we take some of the workload off the staff here and we allow the service users to do more, to be, interact more with the garden. My favourite thing about um, working at Daisy Chain is the satisfaction that you get personally from uh, knowing that you are helping families whose life isn't as easy as yours and um, there's a lot of satisfaction in that. Um, but additionally for me, I get to meet and work alongside a, a gardening team and volunteers of all different ages and backgrounds and um, I get a lot out of it personally. I tend to think it keeps me young as well, so um, it's a win-win situation really. Well, the volunteering in the uh, garden has been great fun. Everyone's very relaxed and it's it's really good to work with people, build up a so relationship. They feel more comfortable and relaxed out there. To be honest, I get a lot out of volunteering and I would recommend it to anybody. It is, it is a fantastic thing to, to become a volunteer. Just it's a wonderful environment all around Daisy Chain. Everyone's been very welcoming, even though I've only been here a few weeks, I already feel like I belong here. <laughs>